What comes to mind when you think of American culture? Apple pie, bumper stickers, Hulk Hogan. That's Parker Edison. He's host and co-creator of the Parker Edison Project, a new podcast that takes an intimate look at the meaning of American culture. And I'm specifically looking at it through the black lens, because that's my lens. Edison says it's a cultural sound experience. I want people to see how cool my city is. We have superpowers. Like We, we are so skilled at, uh, at so many different things, and we do it so nonchalantly. So uh, ultimately, I want, I want the whole world to be like, oh, yeah, San Diego. Yeah. There's so many of us. It, it feels like a, a little city, but there's four million people here. And so we are incredibly spread out and we're spread, uh, incredibly cliquish. And so this, this series lets us uh, meet each other. And each episode, in fact, taps into a different part of the city. Uh, I think first episode takes place in North Park and the second episode happens in Southeast San Diego. Each episode explores topics related to food, customs, money, religion, sex, movies, and fashion. Episode one, titled Women on Film, guest Latanya Lockett talks about the symbolism of hoop earrings. Yeah, hoops are savage. I don't wear them just with anything. I don't have to be going somewhere. I'll have a t-shirt and jeans on and put some big old hoops on. I want it to be the statement of my outfit. But, you know, they're trying to tame us. Edison is part of the fabric of San Diego's creative world. A TEDx speaker, a member of award-winning rap group Parker Meridian, and in 2016, he won a local Peacemaker Award from the National Conflict Resolution Center for producing the Reclaiming the Community Music Project, which showcases storytellers of Southeast San Diego. Journalist and cop, well, good guy, but I saw. Adversity, he says, is a shared struggle among us, and learning how people find creative solutions is inspiring, bringing people together. In episode three, artist Orange Space talks about how he overcame a speech impediment with music. It definitely helped me understand why I stuttered, and it, helped, it definitely helped me understand like how how it works and, and and um so i think with that it allows me to be more patient with myself and uh, and to understand you know why it's happening you know when you hear these stories it lets people have that experience in their car or on a run you know they're able to to hear what happened to this person and relate to the adversity because we share the same problems but they get to also see that that triumph and how it happened for somebody else. Edison thinks now is the perfect time to talk about local events that may have been glossed over the last 20 years. This show, he says, allows him to put them into context. And be like, hey, were you here for this? Oh, you were? Oh, do you remember this? Did you talk to this person about it? And we get to kind of see the, the web and, and again, how big it is and how much happened in this little concentrated area. Edison says this show is unique in that it comes from a grassroots level and has local guests and stories never heard before. Again, e even I'm getting to meet people that are behind movements that, that shaped my life. I'm learning and I get to, to meet these people, so I'm getting to watch it too. And so it's, it's just the perfect time. And, and it's just the thing that I, I kind of always hope to turn on the TV or turn on the radio and, and find. That excites me. The first season of the Parker Edison podcast has 10 episodes released every two weeks.